Good morning, everybody. We have a friend visiting us today. Bodhi has decided that he wants to just join us. So he's right behind us. Um, so hopefully you guys um, will like seeing him. He's always fun. And I have all these flies all over. Shoe fly, shoe fly. That's what you do. You say, shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Cause I don't want your company. <laughs> That's the song to say when there's flies swarming around you, okay guys? All right, well let's go ahead and start out with a word of prayer, okay guys? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for all the ways that you love and care about us, God. You are so good, you're so righteous, you're so comforting, and you're so loving, God. Um, I pray that all of the children today are just knowing how much you love them, how much you take a genuine interest in their lives and in their heart, God and for their families too. Please just be with us today, and we love you, and we pray through Jesus. Amen. This is how we read God's Word. Read God's Word. Read God's Word. This is how we read God's Word. It's Bible story time. All right, guys. So today, we are going to be learning more about Jesus, and um, we have this fun craft for you to do, and it's a puzzle, and it says, Jesus loves me. And I did pink because it's one of my favorite colors. But it says, Jesus loves me. And you know, God shows us how he loves us a lot of different ways. So I know for me, the way I feel loved by God is through all, all the creation like I've already shared with you. And I feel loved by God because he gave me my mom and dad who love me a lot. And also my husband and my own children, Jake and Alexis. And of course, Bodhi, my puppy, who's over there now. But um, so I know for you guys, I'm sure you guys feel so loved by Jesus. Um, maybe you guys can tell your mommies and daddies or your brothers and sisters how you feel loved by God. Um, but we are gonna see, we are gonna see through the scriptures about how God shows His love to us um, by His Word. Um, but this is um, going to be found in the book of 1 John, in verse, um, chapter 4 and verse 8. And it reads, I'm going to read it from the Bible, and this is Alexis's old Bible. And so I'm going to share it from the Bible, but I'm also going to share it from our children's Bible that we read from all the time, okay? So it says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. So we all know God. So we have love in us. It says, this is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son. Guess who that is? It's Jesus. Into the world that he might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loves us and sent his son, Jesus, as atonement sacrifice for our sins. So our yuckiness. So our yuckiness that is in our hearts, like when we disobey our parents or when we're not nice to somebody. Um, Jesus came to forgive us of all of our yuckiness. Isn't that a good thing? Oh man, I am so thankful for Jesus coming down, that he died on the cross, and that he died for my sins, for my yuckiness, so that I can be saved. That he was, he resurrected in three days, and now he's in heaven waiting for us. Isn't that incredible? So, just like, um, you know, what we're saying is that God sent his one and only son, Jesus, to this earth so that he could live with us, among us, and that he was gonna die for us so that we can be saved. So, remember, that's in 1 John chapter four and verse eight, okay? So you guys can go back to that maybe this week. You guys can work on ways that we can show God's love and feel God's love, because I know I love feeling God's love. All right, so, um, you know, since, you know, the, that we're talking about Jesus and how he loved us. So we're gonna talk about the cross and what, what that means. And it says the love of Jesus. And here's the picture. And that's Jesus. And 
those those soldiers are not being very nice to Jesus. They're actually kind of restraining him and getting him ready to go to the cross. So let's find out what happens, okay guys? It's and this you can find in the book of Matthew 27, okay? Nail that man to the cross, someone said. The men nailed Jesus to the cross. Then they watched him die. I know that's kind of sad, huh? Jesus had to die so that our sins can be forgiven. So it's a sad day, but it's also a happy day because Jesus rose from the dead and he was with us and then he went to heaven. So I know it's kind of sad to see Jesus die, but it's also such a great thing that he, he died because he wanted us to be with him forever. So Jesus was not hurt. Jesus had not hurt these men, but they were hurting him. Jesus talked to God about these men. Okay, so this is what's so amazing about Jesus. So Jesus was talking to God about these men that were not being nice. So that means Jesus was talking to God. So I think if we want to be like Jesus, we should talk to God too. And do you guys remember how you do that? By praying. We just pray to God. You can just talk to God just like he's your friend. It says, forgive them for hurting me, Jesus said. Wow. Isn't that so kind that here Jesus is on the cross. See that? And his first thought is, God, forgive them for hurting, for hurting me. These, men, these people had not seen a man like this. They were, they were hurting him, but he was loving them. Wow. That man is God's son, said one of them. So they were finding out that he was Jesus. When Jesus died on the cross, he showed how much he loved them. And he showed how much he loves you and me. How much does Jesus love us? He loves us so much that he died so that we could be with God. Okay, so like I said, I know that's kind of sad, but it's also happy too because God and Jesus had a purpose. They wanted us to be with him. So why did the men hurt Jesus? Hmm, why did the men hurt Jesus? You know, I think the men were hurting Jesus because they were just doing, doing what they were told. Um, there was other people in charge. But I think they were scared. I think they were jealous. I think they wanted to be like Jesus. But you know what? There's no one like Jesus, right guys? There's only one Jesus. Did he love them anyways? Yep, he sure did. Jesus loved them and cared for them. Does Jesus love you? Yep. Does he forgive you? Yep. Isn't that awesome? And do you love him? I think you do. <laughs> Would you like to tell him this? Okay, so when we talk to God through prayer, we can tell God how much we love him, how much we care about him, and we can talk to him about um, all the ways that we feel his love, and we can thank him for that, okay guys? So that's the way that you tell God you love him. Another way that you show God you love him is by, like we've talked about before, being kind to people, um, sharing. Sharing is caring, right guys? Um, uh, using kind words, you know, at home with your family. Um, and one way that you can, oh, there's Bodhi again. Um, another way that you can show that you love Jesus is while your parents are at church, while they're Zooming with Gio and Karen or Joe and Lynette or whoever's teaching, um, you guys can let your parents listen. And maybe you guys can color on your Jesus Loves Me puzzle. So that's just an idea, maybe you guys can do it. But I wanted to close out in a song, and we all know this. So Jesus, this is Jesus in sign language, okay? Jesus. And then this is um, weak, okay? That means you're weak, you just go like this. So, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, 
Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy your, um, your family. Um, enjoy coloring your Jesus loves me. I want you to always remember that Jesus loves you. And I will see you next time. Bye.